one more thing that has happened recently is two years of Project Cheetah. Like first Cheetah was brought to India on 16th of September 2022. So 2024 May, Cheetah ke kitne saal India mein introduction ke two years. So briefly, let us understand what's happening to Cheetahs. Kya hua? Now let's come to Cheetah. Ab dekho, uh, of the large carnivores that existed on in India, carnivores are animals which depend on eating other animals. Cheetah is the only one which has become extinct. India may ek cheetah ka population species hua karta tha, Asiatic cheetah. Abhi the cheetah that we are introducing from Africa is African cheetah. That's a different species. We had another species called Asiatic cheetah. It has become extinct from India. From India because uh, it has not ex become extinct globally because it still exists in Iran. But Iran may it is critically endangered, its population is very less. Uh, India wanted Iran to give some of some of those cheetahs to us, but Iran did not agree to it. So we have introduced Asiatic cheetah, oh sorry, African cheetah in India. But let us briefly talk, talk about uh, why Asiatic cheetah become extinct. Why did Asiatic cheetah become extinct or why Asiatic cheetah became extinct? There were Some of these reasons. One was hunting. Mughal era to British period. Even like, you will see, India ka jo last cheetah dekha gaya tha, it was seen in 1947, where Maharaja Ramanuj Pratap Dev of Sarguja state was hunting it. Usne unhe maara tha, toh last cheetah humne dekha tha, Asiatic cheetah. Toh hunting of cheetah was something which Everyone, wo, people took it as sports and as Britishers came into the country and as guns were introduced, sub officers usko enjoy kar rahe the, Raja Maharaja enjoy kar rahe the, which led to drastic reduction in population. There were other characteristics because of which cheetah were captured. They were easy to tame. Therefore, for the purpose of sports, they were regularly taken and uh, cheetahs were one species which for... Uh, Pus or Asiatic cheetahs were one species whose uh, breeding in captivity was not seen. It was not easy. You say, Pinjare me band karke rakhoge, they say, do insan ko ek kamre me band karke rakhoge, do ek male female ko, they may reproduce. Kush kyo horeo, to me ni kar rahe ban. Hana, they may reproduce. Ab hasi a rahe tum loho ko. Wo hasi rahe tum hasi rahe ho. But if you will keep male, female, Asiatic cheetah in confinement, they will not be able to breed. In fact, captivity may breeding, there is only one example in Jahangir uh, Tuzuki Jahangiri, where it has been mentioned that in captivity a, a cheetah was born. Otherwise, it was, so agar, dekho, it was uh, uh, kept for the purpose of sports so in captivity if they were reproducing. What could have happened? Their population could have remained high, but that did not remain high. And the last nail in the coffin was its classification as vermin. Vermin species are allowed to be killed. So, while uh, wildlife acts protect various wildlife, but species which we declare as vermin, they are allowed to be killed. So, at the time of British in 19th century, they were allowed, so they were declared vermin. And thus, it's their hunting increased, which led to they eventually becoming extinct. India does not have any Asiatic cheetah. But under Project Cheetah or Cheetah Action Plan, we plan to reintroduce cheetah in India. So this Project Cheetah or Cheetah Action Plan is world's first intercontinental large wild carnivore translocation project. Intercontinental to samaj mein aaya? Large wild carnivore translocation. While we have taken a, a tiger from India to USA, those kind of things have been done. But those are not wild carnivores being taken. Zoo me leke jara gaya hai, vesa hua hai. So it is the first effort to translocate wild, large wild carnivore from one continent to another. 
Now, why do we want to do that? And under this, we plan that we will be introducing 50 cheetahs in India and they, we, then we'll be able to revive the population. But why do we want to achieve that? We want to achieve, what do we want to do uh, through this? One, we want to conserve the threatened species. Cheetah population distributed all over the world will increase its chances of survival. But more importantly, India may cheetah ka population ko revive karna. Why do we want to revive cheetah population? Because cheetah was a top predator. And thus, it had a role in the ecosystem. Without it in the ecosystem, there are threats which will emerge. For example, herbivorous population, herbivorous animals ki population badhegi, which will damage the ecosystem and all. So to restore its ecosystem function also, cheetah uh, uh, is being introduced. Cheetah will be the flagship species for degraded dry open forest or savanna ecosystem. What we are trying to tell here is cheetahs are generally found in savanna or tropical grassland ecosystem and thus cheetah will become flagship of that ecosystem. Cheetah will not be found in tropical rainforest, very dense forest because cheetah need open space so, and thus they, they, they prefer grasslands. It is estimated that the national park where it has been introduced, Abhi Kono, Kono Palpur National Park where it is being introduced, it will, if everything goes well, it will reach the carrying capacity of Kuno National Park in about 15 years. And wider Kuno landscape ka carrying capacity would be reached in next 30-40 years. It was expected that when we cheetahs introduce karenge, 50 cheetah, to, uh, eventually their population will increase and Kuno ka, uh, carrying capacity will be reached. But it needed a long-term support from government in terms of financial technical support and MP Forest Department, NTCA, National Tiger Conservation Authority, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, all of them will need to work in order for in order to make this happen. Currently, we have introduced 20 cheetahs. First 8 cheetahs were brought from Namibia and later 12 cheetahs were brought from South Africa. The total 20 cheetahs have been introduced in India. First 8 cheetahs were brought in September 2022. So, Abhi, what has happened? Two years have been completed so both in Hindu and Indian Express and also in Down to Earth. They have talked about what have we achieved in two years and that is why we want to cover it. Many cubs have also been born in India. 17 cubs have been born. Usme se 12 survive. So out of 20 cheetahs, 12 survive. Jo 20 cheetahs have introduced, kiye the, usme 12 survive kar rahe, 8 mar gaye for one or the other reason. Then 17 cubs have been born in India. And these 17 cubs, of these 17 cubs, 12 survive. So currently, how many cheetahs do we have in the country? 24. But all of them are in captivity. Now you will say, and many of these cheetahs have been born in captivity. You will say, sir, abhi to aapne bola ki cheetah ka captivity mein uh, birth is not possible. Please understand the captivity that we were talking about in Mughal period was ek kamre mein band kara hua hai. But the captivity in which we are keeping it right now, it's like we have not kept them in pinjras. We have kept them in a large open area. There they are able to meet together, mate together and reproduce. So currently what is the scenario after two years? What is the scenario? Right now we have 24 cheetahs, 12 cubs and 12 adults. Now short term and long term goals and the key issues which are uh, which we are facing. A short term goal tha ki first year ke baad 50% of the population should survive. That kind of we were able to achieve. First year ke baad we had 13 cheetahs surviving. Abhi ek, uh, 13th, uh, the 8th cheetah has died recently. So uh, after 20 cheetah, uh, 13 cheetahs were surviving ek sal baad. So this was achieved. Then cheetah establishing home range, successful reproduction in wild, uh, benefit to local communities uh, through tourism and all. These have not been met. Cheetah, cheetahs have not been able to establish home range. Un sabko wapas captivity mein leaya hai gaya hai. Cheetahs wild mein successfully reproduce nahi kar rahe hai. They, abhi jo reproduction chal raha hai, that's all happening in captivity. And local, it was also expected that as cheetahs will increase, local communities would be benefited as more tourism would happen here. Because now, but now because all of them have been brought in captivity, what happens? Tourism ke bhi advantages nahi hai. Now, so, so many of the targets are not being met. But major problem is something else. Currently, there are 12 cheetahs which survive, 12 cubs hai, and 12 cheetahs. All of them have been 
in captivity in the last 12 months. Almost all the 12 months they have spent in captivity. Now, Namibia had a policy. They say ki, if you are keeping a cheetah in captivity for more than 3 months, it is unfit to go in wild. And thus, you will keep it in permanent captivity mein rakh lo, or kill it. Because it will eventually die in the wild. So, experts say that all 12 adults and 12 cubs currently in Kuno, Kuno are unfit to be released in the wild. So, wild range of cheetah would be developed. Perhaps this is something that with this cheetah population, we may not be able to achieve. Right. Now, long term, long -term targets kya thi? It will be measured by cheetah becoming a stable part of the ecosystem and all. But all these things will come into play only when cheetah remain in wild. So, does it mean that no cheetah was introduced in wild? No, cheetahs were introduced in wild. Does it mean that no cheetah or no cubs were born in wild? No, no, cubs were also born in wild. But eventually, for one or the other reason, they have all been brought back. And as, as per the Namibia policy, if a cheetah remains in captivity for more than three months, what happens? It is It becomes unfit for going into wild. So currently, all those cheetahs may be unfit. 16th September completes two years of arrival of cheetah. 12 adults and 12 cubs remain. Why did so many cheetahs die? So, dekho, dying of so many cheetah is not something unprecedented. What was our target? Kya tha? At the end of first year, 50% of the cheetahs should survive. Right? It means that when cheetahs would move from one continent to another, there will be some death. But why did they die? One died due to a pre-existing and chronic renal ailment. Purani disease the ek cheetah ko to. Then there were uh, some other cheetahs which, which died because of hypokalemia and the resulting acute heart failure. Another female died when she was mauled by a male coalition. So this female, uh, like it was being tried ki this female mates with the male but the male coalition attacked it and it died there. There have been other issues also of dermatitis also. Dermatitis is a skin related diseases occurred because uh, these cheetahs uh, came from southern part of Africa or tropic, oh, sorry, equator ke niche wale area se. So the weather cycle there was different from the weather cycle here. It is said that during summers they were able to grow fur in India. That was problematic. Then during rain, rainy season, Wo wet condition mein rehna, wo far wet condition mein rehna, all these things created problems and many of them died because of that. Abhi August 2024 mein, a male which came, had come from Namibia had died, uh, authorities say that it died by drowning, but experts say that there is no evidence of a free-ranging cheetah dying because of drowning. They, they are good swimmers. Okay, but there have been so many deaths of cheetah. Fine. So, uh, these are all African cheetah. These are not Asiatic cheetah. Asiatic cheetah are critically endangered. African cheetahs are vulnerable. These are African cheetahs that we are talking about. Now, why was Kuno chosen to introduce cheetah? Kuno National Park. Why was Kuno National Park chosen to introduce cheetah? Uh, First of all, where is Kuno National Park located? Madhya Pradesh. It was chosen because uh, cheetah ko kya chahiye? Savanna grassland? Tropical grassland, dry conditions, are grass ho ho, dry hot conditions, are grass ho ho. this was one such national park where those conditions were met. Plus, this was this is perhaps the only protected area in the country where all human habitations have been removed. And thus, humans ke saath interference hone ke chances were also very less. This national park also had a lot of herbivorous population, herbivorous animals ka population. You will see. Uh, it has chinkara, spotted deer, black buck and so on, on which cheetahs could survive. And that is why Kuno was chosen. But other than Kuno, there are other parks. Nora Dehi Wildlife Sanctuary, Gandhi Sagar Wildlife Sanctuary, uh, Shahagad, Bulge in Jaisalmer, Mukundara Tiger Reserve, where in future we have plans of introducing cheetah. Got it? I hope we understand what is the current scenario of cheetahs.